All right, Rob. Great, great job. So we're working on bending that two draw, and you were getting some good bends down. And one of the things that we did was, okay, the air has got to be about half capacity, not full capacity away full capacity the way you're doing it and also you've got a vibrato so use that vibrato put that in there now initiate your note your two draw with that like a key or the and then the motion that's going to make it bend is is like uh the air going up and the air going back here so there's a diagonal feeling to it And the key, of course, is the unbent note. And the coo is pulling the note back here, almost to that growl spot. When you swallow that note, you're moving this larynx down here, that will help you get there. So a good rhythm to practice that would be maybe to go bump, 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 exhale. Another one would be if we go from the two to the three draw, half step bend, and then from the three draw, half step bend back to the two. If you don't bend it, it sounds. You want to get that air pressure in without being tight. Bend the two. Okay, here's one you can do on the two. Start going. All right, talk to you soon. All right, good. So nice job, you're really playing well. And one of the things we talked about was throwing an octave at the top of that juke lick. So I got a three blow. And at the three six blow, I'm gonna. So I, I think that's the look. So, so uh, anyway, so that'll set you up for taking a more tongue-blocked approach to that song, which would, you know, I think would definitely, definitely be good. Now, the three and six blow octave. The two and five draw octave. The one and four draw octave. The two and five draw can be like a note of resolution. Or it can also play all through the, the four chord as well. It sets up a wonderful tension. But what we heard that was was missing and could use some help was your hands and finding a way to hold the harmonica and then open and close your hands in a rhythmic, sensual, musical way, like squeezing the air to let it out. Um, and so my technique is like this, my hands, and this goes against here, and then this and this go against the side of my face. So there's no air. Three blows, an excellent note to practice on. This is an A harmonic. Yeah? Yeah. 
Um, the other way, laying your hand across like that, well, then you've got to just make sure that you're getting a good single note, that you're not compromising your single note embouchure with your fingers here. All right, so if I take a riff like the up riff, what I'll do is what I call pop it, close, open, close on the three blow. As I go to the three draw. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about pull-ons and pull-offs. Now here's my two draw. If I do a pull-on, I slide the harp up to that two draw so it goes over the one draw. I'll go into the three draw. Under the four draw. I'm going to do a pull on on the down riff, four draw, four blow, three draw, three blow, uh, or two draw, we'll see what I do, and I'll do it on every note. So you can see how effective that is, just as a way to find the note. Say you go up to six draw. Now, I like to think of the harmonica as being a horizontal instrument. You can usually, almost always, you can go to the note next door and go there and it'll, it'll sound really well and sound good. Plus, it can give you that extra little beat of ka-dum, ka-dum. Blues beats are usually and that little ba-da, that little beat that goes in there, that pre-beat. It's an important part of the sound. So sliding into notes will help you find the note. It'll give you a nice little arpeggio and a blues flourish. Okay, now the slide off or the pull off, that's where say I'm playing a two draw. Now what I'll do is bend the note, unbend it, bend it again, and pull it off over that one draw like this. And if I put it into a riff, say the down riff, do it slide in. All right, so that's the pull in, pull on, and the pull off, and they'll really make you sound a lot bluesier.